Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, and uh, Mr. Liu, appreciate having you here with us today. I want to continue the focus on tax reform, as we did in our private discussions. Uh, as I've shared with you uh, in my work with the Bull Simpson Commission and in other areas of trying to address putting together a comprehensive deficit reduction package and debt reduction package, uh, I view tax reform, as I've heard you say today, to be a key part of that, not because of the, re of the need to raise revenue, which is where you and I may have some disagreement, but because of the need to generate growth and have a pro-growth element in the recovery effort for our country in dealing with our debt crisis. And that's, I think, the first part of the question I want to ask you, and I, I think you've already answered it, but I want to get it very clearly on the record. To me, in the last few months, the discussion over tax reform has taken, in some cases, a, a, a concerning turn. And I've heard the, the term tax reform used all too frequently uh, to be a revenue-generating device. Uh, I understand it can be utilized to generate revenue, but uh, please tell me why, again, why you believe tax reform is needed in our economy. Thank you, Senator. Um, as I think we discussed in, in the conversation we had, I, uh, I considered it a lost opportunity in December and January that we didn't get to a final agreement on our fiscal challenges so that we'd be able to debate tax reform after resolving the fiscal challenge. Um, I think that there is still more work to be done in terms of the fiscal path, and we need more revenue to be part of it. Um, I think that separate from that, there's a need to do tax reform. And in clearing out the tax code and broadening the base, there's room to raise the revenue that we need. Um, just a few months ago, there was a lot of discussion uh, as to whether or not we should raise tax rates or, or, or raise m revenue by broadening the base. Well, we did the tax rates. We didn't broaden the base. So there's room in the conversation for both. And I would look forward on a bipartisan basis to achieving the goal both of being on a sound fiscal footing and equally importantly, perhaps more importantly in terms of the long-term growth of the economy, having a tax code that makes sense uh, for individuals and businesses so that we have a thriving uh, investment uh, environment. I agree with that. I, I think that we would have been hard-pressed to create a tax code if we tried that was more unfair, uh, more complex, more expensive to comply with, and frankly more anti-competitive to our own business interests uh, than we have now. And we need to correct that. And I look forward to working with you in partnership on that.